What is up everybody? It's Nicholas and today we are going to talk about something that is important in a more general term, which I guess I've been doing a lot of lately, like a lot of general stuff, but that is you don't always know what you're going to use from, and I guess I'm applying this to school, but also I guess stuff you learn in life because in my current job that I am working, as you guys know, I got a job I'm very excited about. I love it. Um, especially because I get to remote work from the office. I have been working with some stuff that I've had classes on, and at the time I took the classes, I thought to myself, why am I taking this? I am never going to use this. If I am ever using this, I am in the wrong job because this is not what I want to do. Let me tell you, I am in the right job. I love what I'm doing, and I'm doing those things that I didn't think I would ever need. One of those classes, Systems Analysis and Design, and I was like, Oh, this is so boring and like it's so it, it just drags on and on and on but it's funny because I've been going back to this book more and more looking at like different aspects of it because it's actually so topical for what I'm working on and like designing like good like user interface and stuff like that and I never thought I would use this specifically like in depth or how about this this Security policies and implementation issues. Not specifically security policies, but policies. Currently, currently I'm reading through a lot of policies and essentially putting them into a database because we're using it for something else. I don't know what that was. Oh, it was my book's falling. Whew. Okay. Uh, but essentially, um, I am using all of this stuff that I never thought I would use. I remember telling my friend on like the first day of class for that policy class, if I'm ever in a job where I'm having to use this every day or even at all, I'm in the wrong job because I don't want to be in charge of this. Boy, was I wrong. I've had so much fun with my current job and it, it it's, it's finally clicking to me that a lot of the stuff that I took for granted that oh, I've got to take these classes. I want to take my Cisco class. I want to take my 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 I like my other actual IT support classes, but I've got to take this policies class. I've got to take the system analysis and design class, and those are the classes I'm using the most, which is kind of kind of weird to me because I did think when I when I stopped when I stopped pursuing IT support, I'm still getting still finishing up my degree. But when I stopped pursuing that as a uh, as a career, and instead was like yeah software. All of this stuff that I never thought I'd use, I am actually having to use a lot. Databases. I took a SQL database class, which, by the way, if, if you take anything from me, if you ever take any advice from me at all, learn SQL databases. Go go buy a Udemy course for like, for like $10 when they're on sale. SQL databases, it's, it, it is a huge thing. Databases in general are huge right now, so... Pro tip. I, I guess the lesson in this is the stuff that you, that you learn in life, you may not always think at the time, this is something I'm going to use, and it might not be. You may never use it. I've, I've learned a lot about working on cars. Am I ever going to use it? Probably not. It's good to know it, but do I need to know it? No. But if I hadn't at least paid attention in these classes, or at least like paid attention, um, I wouldn't know what I, my fridge just kicked on. But if I hadn't paid attention in these classes, I wouldn't have the skills that I currently have that I didn't think I would need uh, to be able to do what I'm currently doing, or at least not as efficiently. And that is really quite eye-opening to me because I'm that person that thinks to myself, like I, when I was doing my IT support stuff and I was, I was focused on going to school for IT support and I was gonna be an IT support technician or a help desk specialist, whatever I wanted to be, I wanted those skills of like, hard like hardware skills you know what i mean cisco uh i guess setting up like networks and stuff kind of software but you know what i mean fixing computers building networks that kind of thing and those are the classes that i did find boring because i already knew a lot of that stuff these are the classes that i paid attention to because i didn't have prior knowledge to it and yes i found them boring at the time but i'm glad i paid attention because now literally and I'm working with people that are surprised because I tell them I come from an IT support background. And I'm like, I know this. I, I understand policies on a broad spectrum. Obviously, like a lot of it is legal stuff. 
yeah, don't don't quite get that yet. Working on it. Working on it. But it does it does give me a leg up in how I am able to work with a team that has very different experience from what I have. That's the other thing. Team projects. Very important. You may not think so, but being able to communicate effectively with a team, very important. I don't know why I'm rambling. I just, I wanted to get in front of the camera and talk. I had a really good day at work today. Um, I've had a really good week at work to, 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 today. Really good week at, had a really good work week. I've really enjoyed myself. I'm super enjoying my job. I know it's cut away from my time to be able to stream you guys and I'm sorry about that. But just know that I am at least enjoying myself. You can probably hear the train. I am having fun though. Um, it's it, it's It's been really fun for me to kind of broaden my horizons and get to do stuff that I haven't been able to do in the past. And maybe in the future I will have more time and be able to stream because I am hoping to be starting doing freelance web development soon. So, that would be cool. That would obviously make it so that I don't ever have to work a 9 to 5 job. Which, not that I'm opposed to, but after this, I don't ever want to work for a company. Like, I don't ever want to be tied down to a 9 to 5. Remote work, sure, as long as I can do other stuff on the side. But yeah. Freelance work and being self-employed is, I think, my future. Oh, one more thing. I did pick something up the other day, and I don't... I think it's in the closet over there. Uh, I did pick up a Mavic Mini the other day. Um, don't worry. Very safe, okay? With the quarantine and everything. I did it smartly, okay? Uh, but I needed something to do, like, in our yard and, like, outside because I don't have a lot of outdoor activities to do right now. And obviously working inside, yeah, it gets kind of tiring. Uh, but maybe some Mavic Mini videos coming up? Maybe a Mavic Mini review? I don't know. I don't... It's my first drone. I could do a, a first-time drone buyer's experience, but we'll see. All right. If you guys liked the video, please subscribe. I appreciate it. If you guys liked the video, leave it a like. If you guys disliked it, leave it a dislike. Uh, leave me a comment down below letting me know what you liked or what you disliked about the video. I really appreciate the feedback. It helps me know what I'm doing right, what I'm doing wrong, and when I just need to shut up like now. So... Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. <gasps> Goodbye!